Hello there. Welcome to another session within the Visual How To series. This time, the title of the session is Customizing Search Results with Custom XSLTs in SharePoint Server 2007. My name is Patrick Tissigem, and I work for a company called U2U based in Brussels, Belgium. When you install the Microsoft Office SharePoint Server 2007, you have a very good search experience, which is uh, customizable to a certain degree. And uh, one of the things that uh, we have is we have the possibility to go to the search center. Here in the search center, type in a keyword like business. And then uh, this keyword will be picked up, will be sent to the query, to the search engine. And then um, the search engine will execute the query, will return us back XML. And this XML is going to be transformed using an out-of-the-box XSLT into the HTML that you see here displayed by the search core results web part. Assume that we have the following request from the business. They want to have the found keywords in the search results not displayed as bold, but they want to have them displayed with a yellow background. So this is a small customization that you can do within the XSLT that is responsible for rendering the uh, search results here within the browser. So you start by editing this page. Then you see all of the web parts, different web parts that make up the page showing you the search results. The one that we are interested in is the search core results web part. If you uh, go to the tool pane and the properties you can change, there are many properties that are exposed here, but the one that we are particularly interested within this session here is the XSLT editor. So over here you will find the, uh, the XSLT that is responsible for displaying the search results. You have 10 possible keywords that can become highlighted within the search results. Each of them is represented by its own XSL template. So if you want to modify, you need to go and do the modification for each of these XSL templates. And in our case, we're going to, instead of doing bold, we're going to have a span. We're going to have a style, background color, yellow. And we close our span. And you repeat this for each of the next nine XSL templates. Once done, you save your work and you publish the page. And as you will notice, you will have now all of the found keywords displayed with a yellow background. Now this was a small change that we have done within the XSLT, but you can think of scenarios where you completely replace the XSLT, where you uh, make major modifications. That is all possible. Uh, of course, what you're going to do is instead of doing the modification in the small dialogue that you saw me using here in this uh, recording, you will probably copy and paste that XSLT in a more professional XML XSLT editor. So this was um, all I had to say. I hope you learned a couple of things and thank you very much for your attention.